Hey guys, I'm Doug. I'm Christian. And today we're gonna to talk about the most misunderstood event in the Army Combat Fitness Test. The hand release push-ups. Is now, that it's still, what they're called? It's still called the hand release push-up, I believe, but we've changed how it looks several times and uh, I'm as confused as the next guy, um, mostly on how we're gonna max it. And a lot of you guys watching this think that it's going to be like the old APFT two minutes worth of push-ups. You are wrong. It is a lot more challenging because the time under tension is increased. You guys have to slow down to do these. You can't just knock them out one after the other. The new standard dictates that you have to set your chest on the ground and move your hands out perpendicular to your body before the rep is counted. Your index fingers have to be placed inside the outer edges of the shoulder. You have to fully extend and then go back down to touch your chest to the ground and extend your hands. Now, the only authorized resting position is the front leaning rest, which we all know is not a rest position, which means the only rest you're getting is when you're face down on the ground, moving your hands out and bringing them back in. There is a sneaky hack for that though. No one dictates how fast you have to complete the extension of the arms in the bottom position. Except the clock. The clock dictates how fast. And greater discretion. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, this whole thing is a giant mystery to me. But luckily for you guys, we're gonna demonstrate it today. Doug is gonna have a two minute window to knock out as many reps as possible. He's set up with his index finger on the inside of the outer part of the shoulder. This is to prevent people from doing really, really, really wide push-ups and trying to cheat the format. So on the count of go, he's going to do as many push-ups Hand release with an extension at the bottom as fast as possible. Go. Setting his chest on the floor in between each rep and reaching out as far as possible, locking out perpendicular to the body. He's gonna try not to let his belly sag and he is going to keep his toes within 12 inches of one another. The authorized rest position for this event is the front leaning rest. You cannot do a pike like you used to be able to do. Although it's called the hand release push-up, your hands do not need to leave the floor. Sliding them like Doug is doing is just fine. And you are not allowed to stop moving. So, although this is not a rest position, what you can do is lower yourself to the ground as long as you continue to move, you can still keep doing reps. The scale as it exists for the army test on a moderate, effort job, the minimum requirement to pass this test is 10. I think that most people are gonna have that covered. If you have a significant effort job, the minimum score is 20 push-ups in two minutes. If you have a heavy job, uh, you're gonna have to do 30 to pass the test, but to max it, you have to do 60. And 60 is not an insignificant task. Uh, some sloppily executed and questionable form hand release T-motion push-ups, whatever they're called. Uh, Christian got, how many? How many did you get last time we did this? I got 39, which is not enough to meet an 80% standard if 80% is the soft standard. And you got- In the 50s somewhere? Yeah, that's... Christian got close. Brian just read us a list of the things that the Army says that this push-up movement is attributable to your day-to-day -day tasks. <clears throat> We're not really sure how to process that actually, because this movement is basically like an old fashioned snake oil. It's good for everything. It's good for pushing assailants away. It's good for pulling yourself across the ground in a low crawl. It's good for reaching for extra accoutrement in some sort of firefight situation. And it's even better at pushing yourself off the ground when you have to sprint away from something or do something. All distilled, the army just wants you to be able to do this with your arms really, really well. If you're struggling with your ACFT score and you want to get better, please visit www.softleet.com forward slash ACFT. Click the link and it'll take you there. There's a comprehensive eight-week prep program that'll get you where you need to be. No questions asked. 